Hi guys, it's Lara. Thank you all for watching and welcome back to my channel. I just finished filming this cute hairstyle. I started a new series on this channel, Zodiac themed hairstyles, and I thought what a better way to start this than with my a zodiac sign which is cancer so if you missed that video i will link it here in the right corner and also in the video description and i thought since everything was set up i could share with you a really funny story something that happened about two weeks ago when i was on my way from boxing class it was quite the odyssey so if you want to know more about that then please keep watching so one Saturday I went to my boxing class I took the bike which is something I enjoy doing because I feel like it gives me a little bit more freedom when it comes to planning and also it's great exercise and I can avoid the public transport. We are still dealing with a pandemic so I actually still like reducing the contact with other human beings to a minimum. It doesn't have to do only with the pandemic but let's just leave it at that. So anyway I went to my boxing class, we had an amazing training and I was on my way home. I talked to Jack and we decided we wanted to have a veggie burger and a cake from Swing Kitchen which is a restaurant I reviewed on this channel so I will link the restaurant review here in the right corner and also in the video description. So I got the burger and since I bought the burger menus I got two drinks. And they asked me whether I want to drink the drink there or if I want to pack it and I told them I'm not sure if I should bring it with me because I'm always afraid the drink might get spilled. They assured me that the lid is safe so I got a bag with the food. So there were two burgers, two portions of fries and then there was one large sugar-free coke with a lid on it and I also got a tart and a tiramisu and I started biking home and last year our bike pump died and Jack did not replace it because he was like oh I don't feel like buying one we can always pump our bikes at a gas station I thought it was a bad idea I thought that anyone who owns a bike should have a pipe at home but he didn't feel like buying one so I didn't pressure him uh, but I noticed that the front tire on my bike was a little soft and I didn't feel like going to the gas station and I knew that there was a bike station on my way home. There is a university close to the Charles Church and I knew there is this bike station with a pump. So I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna stop by. I should not forget to say that at this point it was getting very, very hot. I was already hungry also. And I stopped at the bike station, I took the lid of the vent on the tire on my bike and I attached the, the end of the pump and <laughs> it let the entire air out of my front wheel, so like from the front tire. So I thought like, okay, I'm apparently too stupid to use this. I tried a few things, there were like two openings that could be attached to the vent and nothing worked. So I stopped a young man, I asked him kindly if he would be so nice and look at my bike and what I'm what I was doing wrong and he looked at everything and tried a few things and he assured me that it was not me, it was actually this bike station and he also told me that this happened to him a couple of times. Some bike stations for whatever reason have a pump with an attachment that simply doesn't work on every single bike which is extremely stupid in my opinion and he told me that he was always going only to a certain bike station at this point because he had the same situation he stopped somewhere and wanted to pump his bike and ended up with a completely empty tire. So here I was normally it would take me about 20 minutes from there with my bike home but obviously if I have to walk it takes way way longer. I had all the food with me and the drink and my backpack that was full with sweaty stinky clothes, my boxing gloves were sweaty, I started being really hungry which means I started also being very grumpy and I hate hot weather. Boy I was swearing like a sailor 
And on the top of that, I found out that the goddamn lid on the drink was not really that good and the coke started spilling into my back with food and I noticed that only when coke started dripping on my leg from the back. So I took the coke out and there was an elder guy sitting in the park. He was uh, doing some paintings and I asked him whether he wanted to have a coke uh, because I couldn't take it with me since it kept spilling and he even asked me what I wanted for it and I made it very clear I didn't want anything. I would give it to him for free. Just, you know, you have a drink and I will make sure that I don't get anything spilled. So I cleaned the bag as well as I could. Fortunately, only a few fries were soaked in coke. So I started pushing my bike towards home. And then I thought, you know, I remembered that you can take the bike, like a bike, on the subway in Vienna. So I thought, you know, not so far from here is a tram station. Maybe I can take a tram with the bike. Uh, but first I had to pee, so fortunately I found a public toilet where I could uh, go and then I pushed the bike all the way to the tram station, the tram came, I started pushing my bag inside and the driver started yelling at me, I should get immediately out. I was like, what is wrong with you, there's space enough. But then I googled it and I found out that in the public transportation in Vienna, Bikes are allowed for safety reasons and space reasons only on the subway, only during certain hours. So the time would have been right, but it was just simply the wrong transport. And uh, it was too far to go to another subway station. So I decided to simply walk home with the bike, with the food, with the heavy backpack, being hangry, still cursing under my breath. It must have been quite a sight. I just couldn't leave it. And then of course I called Jack gave him an earful for not buying a pump because I told him that I felt like we have every single crap you can think of but not the necessary equipment that every reasonable person who owns a bike should have a pump. I told him to order one immediately <laughs> and he was laughing of course because he knew that was my hanger uh, talking and fortunately about I'd say like 20 minutes later, I arrived at a gas station. So I went to the gas station, I stopped there, uh, I took the outlet of their pump, put it on the vent on the front tire on my bike, and that's a one where you only have to push a button. So I pushed the button and it, it immediately filled the front tire. So while I was there, I filled up also the back tire. I made sure that I have done anything that I needed for the time being or like for a while actually for my bike. And then the whole world started looking a little bit better because then I was able to bike home. And from the gas station, it was only about, I'd say like 10 minutes with the bike. I would have walked way longer, but with the bike, it was pretty quick. The traffic was not bad at all. There were actually only a few cars. And even though it was hot, when you're biking, you always have this light kind of breeze because you're moving. So that was actually fun. Honestly, I found it actually too bad that I did not have my vlogging camera with me because that would have been quite a sight. Me standing in the park, finding out my Coke is spilling while having an empty tire, having to pee and being hungry and super cranky uh, but yeah um, it was just such a fun thing to happen because even though it made me really mad I also had to laugh at myself at the same time I just don't take myself too seriously in situations like that and I thought I'm gonna share this short story with you guys because there is enough serious stuff going uh, in the world going on in the world and I thought we can all use laughter so that is my short story time for today thank you all so much for watching I appreciate you guys so much take great care of yourself and see you soon God bless you bye